Hi all and welcome to my channel, it's Kaz here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this trailing ivy twin pattern. And if you'd like to have a written copy of the pattern, there is one available over in my Etsy shop, so pop over there and have a little look at that. Or if you'd prefer to give a small donation to a local animal charity, um, that would be appreciated as well. So now we'll crack on and I'll show you how I made this beautiful beanie. I'm going to be using Signet Aran yarn, which is 100% acrylic yarn, and the colour shade is grape. So to start our project, we're going to cast on as we normally do, over and under, over and under, all the way around the bed of the machine. Yarn back in the yarn feeder, zero hour clock, loosen some yarn and we're going to start with four rounds of ordinary plain knitting. And there's our four rows complete. Now I'm going to run you through the pattern sequence for this particular beanie. So here we go, and this sequence is specifically for the Addy 46, okay? And I will run you through uh, what to do for the Central 48 um, at the end of this sequence, okay? Right, we're going to start with wrap two from needles one and two. And it's always easier if you have your left needle there slightly higher than your right one, if you're going to wrap with the one hand, which is what I do. So we're gonna wrap two, wrap two, okay? And then we go on to a knit two, knit two, okay? And we repeat that three times. So wrap two, wrap two, knit two, twice, wrap two, wrap two, knit two, three times, wrap two, wrap two, and this time it's a knit one, okay? And then we go back to wrap two, wrap two, knit two once, wrap two, wrap two, knit two twice, wrap two, wrap two, knit two three times, and then a wrap two, and a wrap two, ending on a knit one. And then we put our yarn back in the yarn feeder, and we do one plain row of knitting, taking our time, because those wrap stitches do make the machine a little bit more sensitive to the stitches, and we go back to our needle one. We don't knit needle one, and we start the pattern sequence all over again. This is a two row pattern repeat, Okay, and we're going to do 36 rows of this two row pattern repeat. Okay, that'll make four rows at the top, 36 rows of pattern, and then I'm going to be doing 70 to 80 rows then to form the liner and the brim of my beanie. So once more, I'm gonna run you through this sequence of pattern. We start with a wrap two, wrap two, knit two once, wrap two, wrap two, knit two twice, wrap two, wrap two, knit two three times, wrap two, wrap two, slight change to knit one. And then we back to wrap two, wrap two, knit two once, wrap two, wrap two, knit two twice, wrap two, wrap two, knit two three times, and a wrap two, and a wrap two, and a knitting one to finish off row three. Yarn back in the yarn feeder, one full row of ordinary plain knitting, taking your time as you work around, making sure that all your stitches are forming nicely. Back to needle one. And again, out with the yarn, and we do our two row pattern repeat all over again for 36 rows. I'll run you through the sequence in close-up so you can get a bird's eye view of it, okay? So, wrap two, wrap two, knit two once, wrap two, 
wrap two, knit two twice, wrap two, wrap two, knit two three times, wrap two, wrap two, knit one, wrap two, wrap two, knit two once, wrap two, wrap two, knit two twice, wrap two, wrap two, knit two three times, and finishing with a wrap two, wrap two, and then knit one. Okay? Now if you're going to be doing this pattern on a central 48, okay, and um, we're going to follow this um, row here now with a single row, but like I said, if you're going to be doing this on a central 48, it is so much easier, you don't have to account for the knit one. All the way around the bed of your machine for the wrapping row, you do wrap two, wrap two, knit two, and that will be eight times, eight times around the bed of your machine, okay? Wrap two, wrap two, knit two, and then a row of plain, and carry on with that two row pattern repeat to complete your project on a central 48. Now for those people who want to know the details for using this pattern on a 40 pin machine and a 22 pin machine, I will do a separate brief little video, um, not showing you how to make a beanie or anything, but just running you through the stitch uh, counts and the pattern routine for those particular machines. So check out the other video that I'll be putting up very shortly. So I've just finished my pattern rows and as you can see they're looking really really nice, really pretty there. And now I'm going to start my ordinary plain knitting for 80 rows. So I did four rows to start if you remember, 36 rows of the two row pattern repeat, okay, so that's 18 sets of two, all right. And now I'm going to do 80 rows of plain to finish my beanie. And that'll be a 120 row beanie for for what I'm looking for, but if you want a longer slouchier beanie you can do 130 rows, 140 rows I think. If you want a shorter, just an ordinary beanie without a turn up brim, um, 110 rows is usually my go to for that, in which case on top of this I would be doing 70 rows and not 80. So I'm going to carry on now until I get to uh, 120 rows and we'll move on to assembling the beanie then. So I'll see you in a bit. So I'm just finishing up my final row now. There we are, I'm at 120, I'm going to snip off my yarn and I'm going to cast off as normal. So yarn on the Addy darning needle, because it's got a nice curve on it. And we're just going to cast off. Our machine is now cast off, so let's stretch it out and move on to forming our beanie. So now let's move on to assembling our beanie. As you can see the pattern is looking rather nice there. So what we're going to do is just stretch our work. Best to stretch it sideways and with the uh, stitch grain, okay? Just to make sure everything is all where it should be. And as we do with any other beanie, we just take one end Obviously this end is patterned if you were doing a beanie that was all plain, it doesn't matter what end goes into what receiver end. But I'm going to take this end and feed it through to the other side so that the cast on end and the cast off end are together. This is the way I do it, I know some people will uh, grab each stitch and pull it through that way, but this is the way I do it. I'll take the inner one first and the tail and I'll gather the tail in like that taking care not to snap it and as I do I'll gather the all the edges in and try and even out all the gathers. I'm also going to snip my tail at this point because it's really really long. Keep that tail for something else and then I'll bring up the outer layer find the tail 
on the outer layer there and then gradually bring that one in taking care with this one because we've only got a few plain rows of stitching at the top before our pattern starts and I do the same there keeping an eye on the tail from the inside which has disappeared on me so leave that out and grab and pull and even up all the gathers so you're starting to get a nice evenly gathered circle at the top scrunch it and squidge it a little bit like that and again I'm going to cut my tail off because it's really long I don't need all of that and then once I've got everything cinched to my liking okay one last pull and then I like to put a knot in pull it a little bit making sure that you don't snap it of course there's always, always a fine line between pulling it tight and snapping it and then another one and then another double one where I wrap it around twice and that's it okay so then we'll stretch out our work so pop our hand inside and stretch it all out like that and the tails then are needing to be gotten rid of so you can feed them to the inside if you've got a little hole there I don't tend to worry about that too much if I'm adding a pom-pom if I'm not adding a pom-pom I'll put a tail on a darning needle and just tie that up a little bit tighter to hide that tiny little hole but other than that sometimes that hole is handy actually for feeding the tail of your pom-pom through and securing it underneath with a button or whichever securing item you use to do that so I'll go find a pom-pom now to go with our beanie and that I can say then is our wow that is really really pretty if I say so myself and that's our trailing ivy twin done and completed and I've got my tail on a darning needle now and what I do is I just pop it through the center like that and if you want to put a few stitches in between the layers I just pop it through like that and like I said if you can add a few stitches then either to close the hole if it bothers you or to hold the two layers tightly together just put a few stitches that are not seen okay you can go through there and add a few stitches but for the video purposes now I'll just pop the tails in there and you can do that when you're doing yours I won't bore you with doing that now and then choose a pom-pom if you're going to add one you could make one a traditional one out of matching yarn using a pom-pom maker or I've got these little small ones that I bought from an online retailer and I'm just going to pop that on top of there like that I'm also thinking of starting up a Facebook group, um, a Crafty Cas crafting corner or something like that, or just Crafty Cas. Um, what do you think about that? Would you join? Would you be interested in that? Let me know in the comments if you fancy joining me in a Facebook group dedicated purely to um, the patterns that we make together. All right, so let me know. If you like this pattern, please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and if you have subscribed thank you ever so much for your support it is very very much appreciated you can find a written pattern for this over in my very small Etsy shop and if you do decide to buy the written version of this pattern thank you ever so much and if not would you please consider giving a small donation to a local no-kill animal shelter which would really benefit from a small donation from you and I would be very very grateful indeed if you did that but either way thank you ever so much for tuning in I always love spending time with you and I will see you very very soon with another pattern to share with you all Take care of yourselves and I'll see you very very soon. Bye for now. Hoi